for the longest time, I've wanted to narrate a creepypasta covered by the legend Kudo Hoodlum's Revenge. Ah, oh, that, that name is kind of a bitch to pronounce, but I got it right on the first try. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is Joe's Revenge, or Family Guy Lost episode Joe's Revenge. Not to be confused with the actual canon Family Guy episode Joe, Joe's Revenge. Uh, I guess the author of this creepypasta kind of forgot that there was already an episode called Joe's Revenge. But, you know, um, it's whatever. It's just a story. Uh, it's kind of a bitch to look up because of, you know, the name of that episode, though. But, anyways, yeah, what am I expecting from this creepypasta? It was covered by Hoodo Hoodlum's Revenge on, you know, some of the... It's from some of the worst creepypasta videos or whatever. Uh, like... He was covering the worst creepy pastas and basically uh, put this, you know, at a very relatively high ranking. So I'm not very confident with this one. But anyways, whatever. Who the fuck cares? Uh, this is Joe's Revenge. Not to be confused with actual canon Joe's Revenge. So, does anyone remember the show Family Guy? Well, you didn't know that Fox re-uploaded the episodes on YouTube, but Fox didn't re-upload an episode called Joe's Revenge. Yes, I know it was aired in other countries. It was 10.10 p.m. I stayed up late at night because I couldn't sleep. I decided to watch some TV. I was channel surfing. Suddenly, I changed the channel to BBC Three Doctor Who was just finishing. Then the announcer said that Family Guy was coming up next. After a shitload of promos, the new episode was finally coming on. I was excited, so I made some popcorn with some apple juice. When I came back, it just skipped the theme. That's weird, I thought to myself. The title card said Joe's Revenge in blood red text, and the background and a was just a chainsaw. I was laughing because I thought this was a morbid joke, but I continued watching. This episode started with Joe in his room, looking very angry because he was getting sick and tired of Peter. He then said, I'm gonna kill Peter! And then he ran out of his room to go outside. Likewise, he saw Peter who was running away. Joe then gets a chainsaw so that he could kill Peter. Joe then chased Peter and threw his chainsaw at Peter, and Peter screamed in pain when he saw blood coming out of his body. Joe then got his chainsaw out of Peter and then he laughed because Peter was finally dead. He carried Peter to his house, and then it cuts to Joe inside with Peter's body. He then said, Sweet dreams, Peter, while holding a desert eagle gun. He then ripped off Peter's head with blood spraying all over the camera. The blood was either food coloring or it was real. Now, instead of the credits rolling, there was a black screen for 30 seconds. It then cut to Peter's dead body, which looks not that realistic, but a bit more real than computer animated graphics. Then the screen went black again. This time, it took 43 seconds. Then red text appeared in Korean saying, Killer Joe is watching you, Jordan. Then the TV turned itself off. I tried turning it back on, but it wouldn't. I let out a scream and smashed my TV with a giant hammer. The next day, at 7.49 p.m., I looked up IMDb to see if there were any searches for the episode. None. I went to Yahoo Mail and contacted Fox and BBC3 about this. Fox said, Where did you find this episode? And BBC said, we're sorry that your dreams have been crushed, said Fox again. One day, there was a guy named Max. He was hired in 2011, but got fired for making this kind of episode. We're sorry for making you scared, and we will send you great stuff. Then they sent me the Cleveland Show DVDs, the Simpsons VHSs, and American Dad DVDs, and more. There was also one more thing. It was in a cake package. It was a We Are Sorry cake. I ate the cake anyways, and I kept my VHSs and DVDs for my little cousin. 
I kept the other stuff. Also, one more thing. Do not watch Joe's Revenge. If this episode is somewhere, don't watch this. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Do I seriously need to say anything about the story and why it doesn't work? All right, all right, let's let's count the reasons uh, on why the story doesn't work. Oh, uh, Joe is killing people, you know, like again, character killing people. I I'm telling you, these characters are killing other characters and it's just like really annoying because it feels like I'm being a broken record reading these stories. There's also, um, there's also that ripoff of the grieving at the end where, oh, this character, you know, is contacting, you know, uh, the fucking studio or network that's, you know, airing Family Guy, going like, hey, you know, is this last episode real and shit? You know, that's honestly really fucking annoying. Uh, it's, it honestly rips off the grieving and I fucking hate that bullshit. Like, don't remind me of a much better story. Just... Um, another thing, you know, like, Joe's Revenge, like, the name of the, t the title of the fucking episode, that pisses me off, because, you know, it honestly confuses me, uh, because, you know, there was already a Family Guy episode named Joe's Revenge, you know, where Joe, uh, wanted to catch this criminal that crippled him, like, all those years ago, like, it's honestly just really fucking stupid, like, honestly, so... I don't really see a point in fucking reviewing this one, like... You guys know that it's terrible, it was fucking featured on Hood Hood of Hoodlums... Fuck, that name is a bitch to pronounce. Hood of, it's It was featured on Hood of Hoodlums... Worst creepypasta fuck videos list, or whatever. Fuck, I, I can't speak today. Ugh, this story is terrible. Um... Any redeeming qualities about this story? No, not really. Uh, aside from maybe the grammar being okay. The grammar is at least passable. Uh, other than that, this story is fucking terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, there was no substance in the story. Honestly, I feel like this creepypasta would have been better as a short because of how fucking short it was, you know, like with Joe. Like, it began with Joe saying, oh, I'm gonna kill Peter, you know, even though there was no motivation for, you know, Joe wanting to do this. Or kill Peter, or whatever the fuck. Like... <sighs> Honestly, a smart creepypasta, like, say, Cartman's Revenge, would have, you know, give the character a motivation to kill other characters. Like, uh, Cartman was being bullied at school. That's why Cartman fucking killed Kyle and Stan and Kenny and those guys. You know, like... Fuck. Like... Honestly, like, if you want to have this story done right, give, like, how about have the beginning where, you know, uh, I don't know, Peter's making fun of Joe for being crippled because, you know, Family Guy does have a tendency to make fun of Joe for being crippled. I mean, it's pretty much a running gag, which, you know, I don't really agree with the gag. I don't really think that the gag is okay or funny. I don't think it's funny to make fun of crippled people. Ableism is not funny. But honestly, I think that it would make a lot of sense, you know, considering the show's context and, you know, the context behind, you know, most of Joe's jokes. You know, he is a crippled character. He is paralyzed. He is in a wheelchair. So it would make, f it would make sense if, you know, Joe and, w Joe was made fun of by Peter for being in a wheelchair and that mo that was the motivation for Joe to essentially fucking kill Peter. Or something. I don't fucking know. I'm just spitballing here. But anyways, what do you guys think of this story? This one's absolute shit. No wonder it was featured on Hoodo Hoodlum's revenge video. Uh, and shit. Anyways, I'm out. Fuck this story.